Orange, but... I'm ready! I'm ready, I'm ready! I forgot something, I forgot something! Now I'm really ready! Now I'm really ready! Woo! I'm so excited to go to Glove World! I better meet up with Patrick before he forgets what day it is. Or who I am. No, 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 not you! Not today! This day will be about relaxation and inspiration. I am not to be disturbed on my precious day off. I will spend it with the love of my life. Myself. And my art, of course. Sounds fun. Can I help? For this, I need you to get something very important for me. Go away! Good morning, Care Bear! Oh. I'm glad to see you and Spot doing something for the environment. It's not waste if you don't waste it. Oh. Come back after my alarm goes off! I'm on a tight beauty sleep schedule! I wouldn't bother going that way if I were you, SpongeBob. Big traffic jam blocking the road up ahead. What? Then how is everyone enjoying food at the Krusty Krab? They aren't. See for yourself. I'm stuck here with the owners of rivaling restaurants, the Chum Bucket and Krusty Krab. Seems like a perfect opportunity to start a documentary about Bikini Bottom's best restaurant. I, 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 good idea. A movie about how delicious the Chum Bucket is would rake in millions. Hey, you know I meant the Krusty Krab. Nobody goes to the Chum Bucket. Unless it's to ask for directions away from it. Anyway, officials are still investigating where the nails that caused this chaotic collision came from. Maybe Mr. Krabs can help find the culprit. He did have a truck full of nails delivered the other day. Insomniac Rooster? In the mood for a little morning karate? Love to, but we'll have to put some padding on that one, Sandy. Patrick and I are about to have the best day ever at Glove World. Do you want to come? Thanks, but you ain't putting no glove on this squirrel. I'd rather seek the thrill of toning exercises and rubber duckies. But if you got a little time to spare, I could use your help hauling out some old junk from my yard. Anything for you, Sandy. I'm ready to haul. Y'all. Did I get smaller or did these tiki's get bigger? Bikini Bottom, the most perfectly perfect place in the entire universe. Good morning, best friend. Are you ready for a lovely adventure? Not. What am I? I stayed up all night pretending I had hands. For 47 seconds later. Kids. <laughs> Hi. Nah. <sighs> I wish I could do cool things. This wagon just ominously appeared out of nowhere? Who cares? Hmm. Uh, nah. Still not cool enough. Huh? huh? Can I have this? What, this old piece of. Magic and mystery. 
Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Madame Cassandra, purveyor of long-lost treasures of the Seven Seas. For those on a budget. Magic bubbled soap. Breathe life into your dreams. They say with this unique bubble maker thingy, you can become whoever you want to be. Receive whatever you want to have. Just bubble your wish into the heavens. Not that it ever worked for me. Ooh. A few seconds later. I wish no. I wish no. I wish to oh, Okay, my first wish is on behalf of my very best friend who loves balloons. I wish for Patrick to have the biggest balloonist adventure of his life. <laughs> balloons! Is it too much to ask for just one day of peace and quiet? How am I supposed to paint my newest masterpiece with you two clowns constantly giggling in my ears? I wish that Squidward will finally be appreciated for his art. What are you two up to? Wait for it. I wish for the whole world to see how amazing Sandy is. Thanks, SpongeBob! Nifty Bubble! <laughs> Three hours later. Oh! SpongeBob, what does it mean when it says, Only those of innocent heart may harness the power of the mermaid tears? I guess it means I was destined to find this bubble soap. Hey, wait. It also says, Property of King Neptune. Not for use by mortals. Use sparingly and with caution. Uh -oh. I would have thought that a magic potion from a mysterious fortune teller in a sketchy wagon could backfire. Yes, it was utterly unforeseeable. Wait a second! Patrick, you're a balloon! I wish. If I were a balloon, I'd be able to do cool stuff like this! And this! And this! See, SpongeBob? Oh. We need to find our friends and make sure they're all right! Good thing Squidward is such an even-tempered fella, or he might get upset about this. My rock! My beautiful giant rock! All it's left are my... Oh no! My giant sticky notes are gone too! Now how am I going to remind myself to buy more giant sticky notes? Don't worry, Patrick. I'm sure those sticky notes are around here somewhere. Or there. Or over there. Ouch. Looks pretty broken. Wait a minute. Maybe all this craziness is from one of Sandy's experiments gone wrong. I bet it's all her fault. I don't think so, Patrick. Sandy's experiments always leave the smell of acorns in the air. All I smell around here is <gasps> sponge breath and bubble soap. Oh, yeah. That's the good stuff. Patrick, thank you. No, not the crusty 
Crab? What will the brave people of Bikini Bottom eat now? And without Mr. Krabs, who will help them unburden their wallets? I need to fix this! Take your wobbly hand off of me! I'm too smart to end like this! Multicellular idiots! Thanks to you, all the Bikini Bottom is sunk into chaos! My restaurant is tipped over, and our poor little spot is missing! You could have at least involved me. That's like, you know, my thing! Correct. Oh no! Sorry, Plankton. We'll make things right again. You have to fix this before someone besides me can take advantage of this chaos. Correct. Why are you repeating yourself? Is your in cur You who over here, my little blunders. No more chafing. My adorable cuties. You survived this calamity. No, oh, Madam Cassandra. We were just having fun, but we accidentally used too much of your magic bubble soap and destroyed Bikini Bottom. And now all of our friends are gone, and there's jelly everywhere, and... 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 I miss my Care Bear! <laughs> oh, this is just too perfect. That's not just any jelly, SpongeBob. It's cosmic jelly. The glue of reality. Your bubble extravaganza must have blown holes through the universe, squeezing the jelly out and sucking your friends into new and strange worlds. That was gonna be my first guess. You have to bring me as much of it as you can gather so I can study it and, um, help reverse the mess you've created. After all, I'm at least partially responsible giving you such a powerful potion by accident. Makes sense to me! Uh, no questions here. Excellent! Now jump into the portals that opened up all over town. I can use some of the jelly to tailor cosmic costumes for you, each linked to one portal. The more jelly you bring, the more portals we can pass. Are you ready? I'm ready! Come on, let's save Bikini Bottom from the unintended yet devastating consequences of our own actions. <laughs> Find the portal that suits your costume. Once you have located your friends, you can use the magic bubble wand to return them home. Like some kind of pastoral cattle rancher. I wonder if there's a name for something like that. One of our friends might be on the other side of this portal. Come on, Patrick. We have to rescue them. It's our friendship duty. A strong feeling we're not bikini bottom anymore. Looks more like the Wild West. Yeet! Pull! Yeet! Pull! Yeet! Pull! Oh, sorry. 
Howdy, partner. I'm looking for my pal, Mr. Krabs. About yay high, red, likes money. Crab problem, eh? <laughs> I reckon you're gonna want to talk to the sheriff in Manta Fe. Shoo! What a fun ride! Yeah, let's get in line and ride it again! Get what Cassandra wants with this stuff. The only thing I make out of jelly is jelly sandwiches! Patrick, Cassandra knows what she's doing. If she says bringing her jelly will help get our friends back, then bring her jelly we shall. My best friend. SpongeBob, what do you see? Water? Soda? Is soda water? What do you see? Barnacles, it's so small! We'll never fit in there! Why do we have to be so big? No, oh, it's not small, Patrick. It's not? It's just very, very far away. We're safe, Patrick! It's Mrs. Puff! If anyone knows where Mr. Krabs is, it's her! She probably doesn't know us here, even though she knows us back home. Here we have to get to know her first. Just like we got to know her the first time she got to know us back home, you know? No. Go steal that paraphernalia! What's this luggage doing in the middle of the desert? I think it dropped from Mrs. Puff's carriage. several near-death experiences on this ranch before. Yeah, that's the wild west for you. Whoa, is that Mrs. Puff? What's she doing on a ranch? That should cover my buns. I 
so shiny over there. Sounds like an adventure within our adventure. Double adventure! Strangers, you came here by foot? That's awfully dangerous. You could dry out in a heartbeat. I get puffy just thinking about it. I get puffy after eating stale food. Hi, my name's SpongeBob, and this balloon is Patrick. We're looking for our friend, Mr. Krabs, but he might not be called Mr. Krabs. He could be traveling under a different name. Oh, like Jeremy. Or Petunia. Or Captain Claus. Or Ronaldo. A crab without a name, huh? Try Manta Fay. It's where everyone without something ends up. Could you give us a ride there? This is a riding school, not a taxi service. However, if you take my test, you could get there yourself with your own riding license. My very own license? Whenever you're ready, meet me by the seahorse. We'll see if you can stay on it all the way to Manta Fay. Uh, Mrs. Puff, I mean, teacher lady, uh, I need to confess that, uh, I've been through this sort of thing before, and, uh, I'm not always the best test taker, so, uh... So, any chance we can skip this part? Oh, nonsense, SpongeBob. <laughs> A little rodeo never hurt anyone who survived it. Ready, set, and go! No! Well done, SpongeBob. You scored 35.7 points. 